Okay, we're about ready to wrap this section up, uh, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So remember, what's the big deal about this? Well, a square matrix is what we're working on now. Uh, there's something called an SVD, single value decomposition, which works for any matrix that has a similar kind of breakdown of this. But for a square matrix, um, sometimes when conditions are right, especially when they're symmetric and real and there's other nice things, you can break this matrix up into something that looks like this, where the eigenvectors associated, you'll notice the eigenvector V1 associated with the eigenvalue V3, the eigenvector V2 written as a column vector associated with V1, this codes up a matrix. So it's this matrix times this diagonal matrix times the inverse of this matrix equals A. Let's just see that this is actually the case here. And I think this marker is not that good. Uh, matrix multiplication, just like multiplying X times Y times Z, do two pieces at a time. Let's do this times this. So this is 1 minus 1, 1, 1, times 3, 0, 0, 1. This is a 2 by 2 by a 2 by 2. It's going to spit out a 2 by 2. 1 times 3 uh, minus 1 times 0 is just 3. Um, 1 times 0 times minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. 1 times 3 plus uh, 1 times 0 is 3. And 1 times 0 plus 1 times 1 is 1. So this is the first part. Now we're going to take this and multiply it by this matrix. You could bring the 1 half inside and multiply it, but remember, scalars come in and out of matrices. So this would be the same as, I'm just going to bring it all the way out. This will be 1 half times this matrix 3. It's a terrible looking 3. 3 minus 1, 3, 1 times this, which is 1, 1 minus 1, 1. Uh, 2 by 2 by a 2 by 2, it will spit out a 2 by 2. 3 plus negative 1, oops, sorry, uh, 3 times 1 is 3, plus negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1, so this is 4. Uh, 3 times 1 is 3, plus negative 1 times 1 is minus 1, so this becomes 2. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 times negative 1 is plus negative 1, this is 2. And 3 times 1 plus 1 times 1 is 4. And now remember that 1 half is still out here. Now it drives through. When 1 half drives through, this is just 4 over 2, 2 over 2, 2 over 2, and 4 over 2. And this is, of course, uh, 2, 1, 1, 2, which is what we started with, which is A. It, you, at this point, you might be going, well, so what? Um, this has some incredibly advantageous computational um, attributes. You got to remember, you're going to be doing things by computers. Round off error creeps in in a big way. Suppose you wanted to figure out what a to the 50th was. This could be a real problem. However, it's possible. Uh, you'll notice right now when I picked uh, these eigen vectors, I wasn't really particular about making them orthonormal. If you make them orthonormal, you can make all kinds of nice things happen for this, which we're going to see when we do SVD coming up. See you soon. Have a great weekend.